you're looking at Siesta Key live on your left is the main beach I'm on Beach Drive right now obviously there's no one at the beach today today is a few days ahead of Hurricane Milton coming to the Sarasota area and we're heading toward the village just to give you an idea of before and after and you can see on the right you know some of the and on the left this is some of the stuff that's been left over from Helene that came through there's more on the left look at all this stuff it's not going to get taken care of before Milton comes Siesta Keys turning into a third world country basically and it's gonna get worse unfortunately I know up in St. Pete 50 minutes north of us FEMA is turning down people or telling them that they can't go to uh, dump their trailers full of trash like you see on the side of the road at the dump off points anymore and that they have to do that at specific FEMA locations which according to, to many of these people are impossible to find just from Helene it's going to take a while to recover here in Siesta Key and that has nothing to do with what's coming with Hurricane Milton where as of today it's supposed to hit directly in the Sarasota area and right now we're going down through this is called the village and you know it's a it's a ghost town here in Siesta Key my parents live at a retirement community on the Caloosahatchee River in Fort Myers and they're being evacuated from there uh, the Caloosahatchee River directly goes to the Gulf of Mexico and so yeah they're they're getting evacuated unfortunately my sister and I have told my parents to get a smartphone and my mom is stubborn and against it so you know I asked her do you have your your Nokia block phone and uh, she said no I can't find it so I have no way to contact her for her stubbornness on not having a cell phone my sister is up north she's you know a couple hours up north and she'll be okay there she's in higher ground and I'm staying here in Sarasota I have several friends that have offered uh, for me to stay with them and I appreciate that and thank you to everyone look at this isn't this something And I have several friends who have offered to uh, put me up where they are uh, outside of Sarasota, including Pompano Beach on the Atlantic coast and in a hotel a couple hours up north. But it looks like I'll be staying here. Isn't this amazing? Holy shit. <clears throat> and there's no relief
I mean, homes here are basically being gutted out from the flooding. And I could, I don't know if you could tell of the bumpiness on Beach Road, uh, the road that goes by the main beach, but it's in rough shape. Um, the erosions caused a lot of potholes on that road and it's going to get worse. Now, from what I saw, there's originally low tide was going to be approximately when the hurricane was to hit. But the longer it stays out and takes its time, the more likely it is to hit more towards high tide. friend of mine has his 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 father owns a uh, condo at the seashell on Siesta Key Beach right by Beach Access 12 that's where I go and that's where we're heading now and he said that shut down they had to shut down. There was all this sand in the parking lot. They lost electricity. Before I was shadow banned, I actually had a home, a villa at on Siesta Key. It was the best place. I, I loved living there. You know, now I live like four miles away. I have a mobile home. And obviously, we have to evacuate. I spoke to one of my neighbors today and he said he's not going anywhere. He said he's been through five hurricanes and he's staying. And I'm like, okay, well, I, I can respect that. This is horrible. But like I said, before I got severely shadow banned and I actually had some money. I had a villa on Siesta Key Beach, and I used to love going there um, to the beach every day, every day. I just love the beach so much. There's a, especially Siesta Key Beach, because of the 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand. What's interesting is if you go to the N5D Rumble channel, you'll see a video there of these square waves that are going on. Somebody captured a, a picture and video of square waves on Lido Beach. That's the next, be the next beach north of Siesta Key. And it makes you wonder if there was some kind of direct energy weapons that had been used. We've seen a lot recently about weather modification and how there's a government patent that can create hurricanes and thunderstorms or, and tornadoes, right? And it makes you wonder, are they targeting this area? Now this is a little woo-woo for some people, but 
they say that Sarasota has a Stargate here. Just makes you wonder, is that something that's being targeted? I don't know. But I do love woo woo. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just driving around. Siesta Key, back roads, giving you an idea of what it looks like right now. It's not looking good. Let's go this way. This area looks a little bit better. Yeah, back there it looked like people just gutted their houses out. It's horrible. These roads are just going to get worse with more rain and that brings up another point too. Whenever we get a lot of rain here in Florida, they end up releasing water from Lake Okeechobee into the St. Lucie River as well as the Caloosahatchee. St. Lucie is on the Atlantic side, Caloosahatchee is on the Gulf of Mexico side. And every time they do that, it creates red tide, which kills millions of fish, manatees, dolphins. It's horrible. And it's, yeah. I don't want to say it, but there's a good chance that that will happen when they try to resolve the issue for whatever's going on. With the water levels in Lake Okeechobee. And we're back to Midnight Pass Road. <clears throat> now we're heading back toward the beach. In that community to the right, I had a house there at one point. to the house. Contento Circle. Yeah. That was great. L basically living directly across from the main beach. What I was getting at before, I just love living on the beach because even on days like today where it's cloudy or it might be lightly raining, I would walk the beach. I just love the energy of the ocean and the quartz crystal sand here and everything associated with it. And even if it's cloudy, rainy, I would walk, but now, you know, I, I, I live like, you know, four miles away and I don't want to deal with the traffic. I don't go as much. As a matter of fact, this is the first time I've been to Siesta Key 
since Hurricane Helene. Helene. Yeah, this is Midnight Pass Road. Even though it, at one point uh, it, back there, it turns into Beach Road, which takes you to the main beach. But it looks like everything here, at least visibly, you know, from the road, looks a lot better than what they're actually going through. Like I said, a friend of mine is up at, uh, his, his dad owns a condo at the Seashell and they got shut down. I don't even know if they have electricity yet. I'd imagine they do, but I know they didn't. I'm kind of trying to, I'm trying to look inside of, you know, some of these condos to see if I can see any lights. I'd assume they do. but a lot of sand washed up into the parking lot of the seashell condos. And uh, there was a lot of damage there. They had to shut it down. I'll be doing a Facebook Live when I get to Access 12. I'll be ending this video and going to Facebook Live. So I'll have to apologize ahead of time because Facebook doesn't let you do this kind of view it can only be that vertical view instead of the horizontal so my apologies got a couple golf carts just moseying along that's alright I mean who's in, who's in a big rush to, to do anything right now can't see it but that parking lot to the right is covered in debris <laughs> skateboarding dude and chick all right to here on the right there's a a villa directly to my right and I'll just loop around in the parking lot where I used to live. That villa right there. I loved it. It was right in front of the gates that are open right now. And uh, you know, the, the opening and shutting of the gates didn't bother me at all. But it looks like this has been evacuated. I don't know. These are two condo towers that are associated with Crescent Arms. You can see they have all this cleanup going on right now, but <clears throat> this is what you don't see. Wow, there's people inside the condos sweep, sweeping out sand. Yeah, this place had to have been evacuated right now. And it's not, it's not going to get any better with a hurricane coming. To the right is the swimming pool. But it's all closed.
I don't think, I don't see this recovering for a long time. Wow. Okay, we're, yeah, that's, that's my old stomping ground right there. Now we're off to access 12. I don't know how much longer they're going to keep Siesta Key open. I imagine at some point they're going to shut it down. You know, they're, they will prevent access just like they did after Helene. They didn't allow people on or off the island. So this is Beach Access 12 right here. You see the blue sign, right? Beach Access 12. Look at this, wow. All the sand in the parking lot. Damn, a lot of sand came, holy shit. Look at that pothole right there. Wow. Holy shit, look at all that. There's a ton of sand that got swept up here. Wow. Anyway, that's, that's all I got for now. I'm going live on Facebook. So if you want to check out the rest. I'm going to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. I'm Greg from In5D.com and In5D.net. And uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like here on Siesta Key Beach. Uh, this is the walkway, and you can't really tell. And I just put out a video where you can actually see all the sand that's in the parking lot right now. Uh, so it's piled up to several feet in some areas. That's how much sand washed in from Hurricane Colleen. Now let me uh, flip this around. You can't really tell, but there's dips and grooves here. The sand has piled up. This is the walkway on Beach Access 12. And you, you can't tell, but I know. I see it. As a matter of fact, there used to be a fence right there. Uh, to uh, this is the seashell condos and as you can see they still have water in their parking lot and it took them this long just to get rid of all the sand that was in there but yeah there used to be a fence right here gone this is crazy We're gonna take a look at the main beach. <laughs> We've got a couple people out here. Yeah, look at this. The, you can't tell from the depth, but it, it piles up right here and then goes down right there. Let's see if we can get some depth perception on that. Yeah. They put this in several years ago. Wow. And it's eroded away. You can see this. It's going to take a while for this to... The beach is leveled off. Look at all the sand down there piled up. This is crazy. It would be awesome conditions for bocce ball today. To all my bocce ball friends. It's wide open. And I may come back here and play some. <laughs> Boy, it's as if the birds know, you know. There's a good chance I'll come back and play bocce. 
But this is what it looks like <clears throat> from Beach Access 12. Looking up to the main beach. Now the main beach is up there. I've never seen it this flat and this level ever. Hurricane Helene displaced a shit ton of sand. And I don't know how long it's gonna take for a siesta key to recover. As for me, I have a couple places I can go and I appreciate that. But I'll be staying here in Sarasota. Just not in my trailer. <laughs> oh God. During Helene, I stayed in my trailer. And I've never felt a trailer sway until that happened. Yeah, it's not a good feeling. So, I want to thank those who have offered me a place to stay. and I'll be okay. I'm concerned about my parents. They're at a retirement community on the Caloosahatchee. They're on the eighth floor and they would be fine if they weren't evacuating uh, that retirement center because it's, it is right on the Caloosahatchee River, you know, probably less than a mile from the Gulf of Mexico. You know, so. And I asked my mom, I said, where are you going to? And he said, we don't know yet. And she doesn't have a cell phone. Well, she does, but she can't find it and she won't get a smartphone. She has one of those old Nokia blocks. But yeah, it's, it's a ghost town on the beach. And the water's relatively calm right now. <laughs> Got a big old palm tree back here that knocked into the water and that'll be buried in sand in about four days. Let's see what the water temperature's like. And find out if that will help magnify the hurricane or not. It's been a while since I've been to the beach. Yeah, it's still warm. It's not a pretty shell. There's probably a ton of them. It'd be a great day to go shelling. There's some coral. I wonder if this bird is okay. I didn't even notice it. You okay, little buddy? God, I wish I had some minnows for it. Hi, little buddy. I don't. I don't even know what kind of bird that is. It doesn't look full grown though, does it? I mean, it's mobile, it's walking on its own, it's, it doesn't look injured. In the background, you can see the pelicans diving for, we call them greenies, greenbacks, these little minnows. Which is a good sign. And you can see all these shells on the beach that, that are just here. There's nobody out here to pick them up or 
take them back as souvenirs. There's another one. water is very warm. I would say it's probably 86 or so. Usually it cools off in October and I've always said to people visiting Siesta Key, the best months to come are October, as long as there's not a hurricane, and uh, May because the water temperature is around 83 degrees and you get to know water temperature quite intimately when you live here. I can tell when it's 82 or 85 <laughs> or 84, you know, it's, you can tell the difference when you've lived here a long time. And yeah, it's, it's warmer than 83. Cause 83 is the ideal temperature. It's cool enough to cool you down, but warm enough to go right in. Pretty sure all of these condos have been evacuated. It, it is it is a proverbial ghost town here on Siesta Key. Hope that lo I've never seen a bird like that that I showed you guys. I hope he's okay. He looks he looks young, but he, he looks mobile. So let's hope he survives the winds. It amazes me about <clears throat> you know some of these you know seagulls and <clears throat> all the other uh, pelicans, terns. You know all these uh, birds that survive down here. Where do they go? I don't know. Uh, back here. Uh, right, right there. Uh, there's a seawall. Everybody walks down to the seawall. And they stop and they turn around. That's, if you're ever in Siesta Key, that's the best place to look for shells. But you gotta walk around the seawall and that's where you find them. And if you have a mask, like a snorkel mask, even better. And if you go at low tide, like what it is right now, you'll find a treasure trove of shells. But, Look at what I'm looking at here. All these pelicans and seagulls and they know. They all know, they're preparing. Like I said, I'll be staying here in Sarasota. I have a couple places that offered to put me up and I appreciate that. I will not be staying in my trailer. <laughs> Although I'll probably be there until, you know, Tuesday evening after Allie and I do our shows. Lots of shells down here. And uh, hopefully we don't lose electricity. I did put two cases of water in my chest freezer. I suggest that if you have any kind of freezer like that to, to do the same. 
you might want to uh, elevate anything that's on your ground level like put it on counters or your bed or something like that I don't know what else you know just stay positive I'm gonna do a little meditation while I'm down here and uh, try to mitigate some of this through positive thoughts, prayer, and intention. And then I'm going to play some bocce ball. So, until, uh, until the next time, I'm not sure when I'll be back down here on Siesta Key. But uh, I'll try to come down after the hurricane, definitely. Uh, so you can see the before and afters. But yeah, this is Greg from n5d.com, n5d.net. Sending you all tons of love from my heart to yours. Take care, everyone.